Hey, here's a great way to take some load or stress off of the singing of high notes. And it comes from scientific research based on talking with your hands. So if you're one of those people that talk with your hands, well, this will be easy for you. And if you're not one of those people that talk with your hands, this is going to be a little bit of a chore. But it's a really worthy chore for you. Because what that research points to is that people that don't speak with their hands are inhibiting their hands. In other words, our default is to speak with our hands. And those that don't are literally telling their hands not to get involved. So if you do that with, your, with speech habits, then it's typical you'll do that with singing habits, with singing behaviors. So if you're somebody who keeps your hands locked in your pocket as you're trying to sing high notes, or worse yet, gripping the mic stand and the mic at the same time as you're singing high notes, this will be a benefit to you. It's going to seem goofy at first, but everything I do is goofy at first. This works. So we're going to do this. I want you to take a hand and just throw it up in the air. Uh, throw it right up like you're on a roller coaster. And woo, as like that. Uh, and then slowly step down. Uh, Now higher voices can join in. Really throw that arm up there. Let's do it here. If we're getting towards the tip top of your range, these are what I call two-hand notes. What's going on inside is your vocal fold is stretching, but what's going on in your brain is it's giving you permission. If you give yourself permission to throw those arms up, it's going to free up the whole body in the process. You will feel lighter singing these notes. It's a really great way to approach the stretch of singing high notes. Really get them up there. I'll do one more. Obviously, you could take this as high as you want to go. My point is you have to release the inhibition. You're putting a lockdown on your hands if they're not moving when you're singing. You would feel a lot lighter vocally if you get your hands involved. If you don't want to do this during a performance, then just make sure you do it when warming up and definitely when practicing songs. So you establish a memory of the high notes in a song feeling lighter, being easier to access. But there is nothing wrong in a performance of throwing an arm up in the air right with the coinciding with the high note. Nothing at all. My name is Mark Baxter. I'm here from voicelesson.com. Remember to subscribe and keep on singing.